Sure, you all know and love lions, tigers, and bears, but today, with the help of the pudding and Milwaukee Zoo, we're going to expose you to some other wonderful and amazing creatures. So let's go and see what we can find. This Scottish Highland cow will have to part its hair a little if it wants to see some animals. So, birds. Well, everyone knows the flamingo, but have you heard of the Guam kingfisher? This cute little bird was all happy living on the island of Guam until the brown tree snake from Asia hopped a ride on some cargo ships and was slowly eating this bird to extinction. In the late 80s, people brought the few kingfishers left into a captive breeding program, and they have since reproduced over 120 birds. Now they are waiting until the forest of Guam can be deemed safe enough to release the birds back into the wild. Good luck, kingfishers. Let's check out some other birds. There's a cute little guy up there. Ah, and this is an American oyster catcher. I'm the American oyster eater, so we have a lot in common. The oyster catcher seems to be doing all right in the wild, as it uses its brightly colored beak to cruise along the shorelines and feed on oysters, clams, and mussels. Sounds like it would be happy eating at a red lobster. Looks like Puddin is happy trying to compare her wingspan to that of a big bird. Always monkeying around. Speaking of monkeys, let's check out some Japanese macaques, or snow monkeys. There's no snow today, but these guys sure do look happy to be out in the sun. There's no other primate that can handle the cold weather like these guys. Well, besides humans always cheating with wearing clothes and stuff. Here's a mom with its baby. Now they will be very close to one another until it's weaned at around 18 months. No fair, as I had to stick with my mom for 18 years. Now an average male can reach around 25 pounds with the female being a little smaller at 20 pounds. These monkeys will eat all sorts of things from insects to fruits and leaves. And they obviously depend on the forest so we need to keep their habitat protected from people overusing it for logging or agriculture. Now let's move from the forest and get into the water. Go past this turtle, past Nemo here, and past these intense looking fishes, and get onto the land in the Cayman Islands, and check out these endangered blue iguanas. Now they used to classify these iguanas with the Cuban iguanas, but now we know thanks to some smart scientists that these indeed are their own species of iguana. They can reach 5 feet and weigh about 30 pounds. So you want to give them some space if you ever see one while relaxing on the Cayman Islands. Another reptile you want to respect is the Eastern Massasauga. This is a rattlesnake that is found in Midwest locations like Northern Illinois and Wisconsin. Now there's no need to fear this snake, because if you get too close they're going to let you know by rattling. They play an important part to help out the ecosystems by controlling small mammal populations. So sure they're venomous, but out there there's room for all of us. Another animal that unfortunately people find creepy are bats. But just like the snake, these animals are very important to the ecosystems. These guys help keep insect populations in check. And the flying foxes shown here help pollinate plants as well as disperse seeds all over the forest using their giant wingspan. I'm just hoping the pudding uses her large arm span to help me carry some of my heavy camera equipment. So the next time you're looking at larger wildlife like the mandrill, don't forget about the smaller bush babies. If you're enjoying the tree kangaroo, take some time out for the prairie dogs. And if you got time to look at zebras and hippos, take another minute or two and look at a taper or a hornbill. And they will gladly and loudly thank you for it. Just don't wake up the sleeping lions. And thanks for watching.